Hello guys, welcome back. Hope we are all well. Hope the week is treating you as nicely as possible. Uh, today I just want to talk about a topic that uh, has just come up in conversation a lot this week. Um, oh, he's souped up a Mondeo. Love it. Um, yeah, sorry, I just want to talk about a topic that's come up in conversation a bit this week and uh, I don't know, it's just proved, uh, just proved something very interesting. I just want to talk about it. But uh, so the topic is, is there a hatred, like a general hatred towards motorcyclists? Now, just think that over for a second, you know, does, I know obviously people like me and probably people like you watching, we love motorcycles, you know, it, it's our, it's our bread and butter. You know, we will, we will never, hopefully never stop loving bikes. Uh, I'm not speaking for all of you. I'm speaking for me. Uh, I know I'll never love, uh, uh, never fall out of love with motorcycles, but you know, everyone's different. And, uh, you know, I see, I see a lot of people sort of come in and out of motorcycling, you know, they're one minute they've got a bike, the next they don't, you know, some people have a bike for a few years and then they do their car license for, you know, and stuff like that. But, um, so I've got an itch killing me. Um, but yeah, for, 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 I'd like to think for the most of us, you know, right now, we, we're going to keep with this for hopefully forever, you know. I have a car. Oh, I hate it because <laughs> it's not this. It's not the bike and it never will be. There will be never a time where I get the same feeling in that car than I do this bike. But that's going off the topic a little bit. That's, that's explaining my love for motorcycles. But for us, right, we love motorcycling, okay? Agreed, full stop. But what about when you take, when you take the world, okay? When you take the whole population of everyone that's, that's in the world, or even if we just link it to the UK, if you take the whole, the, the whole population of the United Kingdom, is there amongst that population a general hatred of motorcyclists so you know we, we all know the statistics about you know the fact we make up less than one percent of the of the road traffic in the UK you know we know we know we're not there's not many of us you know in the in the grand scheme of things so does that mean the rest of the population doesn't like us now for the most part right I'd like to think or I, I would say in my opinion this is not true okay I would like to think that people one well, actually, no, not even one. Just, just this. Just do not care, okay? It shouldn't really be a big deal to people whether you drive that Nissan Duke or ride a motorcycle, okay? It just, it shouldn't have that much of a, of a, of a pass through the mind. It shouldn't. It, I find it very, I don't know, you know like, a bit abnormal, like people like me, you know, because, because I do. Like uh, for me, I'm like. Oh, look at that bike. You know, it's the first thing that comes, or, or if I see a car that, I don't know, maybe is a bit odd, like that Mondeo, for instance. I acknowledged it. Why should, it, why should we even acknowledge it? At the end of the day, these, these machines have been built to purely just serve us. You know, they get us from A to B. We own them, we control them, but that is it. They are not meant to be anything more than that. But we have obviously transformed them into that, into hobbies, to lifestyles for some of us. But motorcycling is obviously quite a strong one. You know, it's always been uh, quite a strong sort of love. For those who get into motorcycling, they talk about the bug. Jesus, talk about bug. I'd have been squished like one if I'd went for that. Um, you know, they talk about the bug of motorcycling, which, by the way, I fully, you know, believe in. Um, I do think it's a thing, obviously, because I've been, I've been absorbed with it for, for years, really. And it is strong, but not most of the population gets that are they scared of it do they not understand it how could it not interest them well that's i'd like to think backs up my point of they just don't care but the ones who do care do they hate us and the examples i use from this is uh so my work colleagues were looking through you know some of my social media you know selling it plug and uh they were seeing some of the the things I get up to on uh, on my bike when I when I go out for for some rides, and there was just this whole general sort 
sort of, oh my god, like, uh, actually, I'm going to go that way. Uh, there, was, there was just this whole general, like, oh my god, like, you're crazy. Like, you're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that's not very smart. And you think, well, what are you talking about? Because, you know, in my, from my point of view, I, I, I know what I was doing. I, I was in full control. I, I it, it was just riding to me. Do you know what I mean? There, there wasn't anything special, particular about it. I mean, every ride on the bike is special, but uh, there wasn't anything I could highlight from that. But they all thought it was mental. You know, I don't know if it was the speed or the overtakes or the filtering, but they didn't like it. You know, I showed some some of my footage from when I lived in London and some of the uh, you know some some of the traffic that I had to to filter a uh, filter a between or if you will through to to get anywhere and no nope, they disagreed with that as well they said no nope, that's that's crazy you know it's and I just I don't know it's baffled me so that was one thing and then they started giving me some examples of when bikers have annoyed them and even though yes they can give you experience uh, examples of when a car driver has annoyed them what do you think they spoke about more? Like, what do you think our conversation consisted more of? Uh, that's right. It consisted more of the bike examples. They had so many examples of when a bike has, you know, cut them up or uh, filtered past them at ridiculous speeds. And I just, I don't know. I, I do believe in that whole people remember what they want to remember kind of thing. You know, politicians especially. But, um... To me, that that has to play a part in it. You know, I, I don't believe in this argument that I'm that I'm putting forward. You know, I don't believe that there is a general hatred towards motorcyclists, but you have to say that that is well quite a, a good point to suggest that there there is. And uh, and also, you know, let's go on to Parliament side of things. You know, this channel for the for the first few months was a ULES complaints channel, if you will. You know, it was just about me moaning. It was just me moaning about ULES and Shadiq Khan and the selfish policies that, you know, haven't haven't thought about us and the, the great work that we do um, to ease congestion and pollution. But that wasn't ever talked about by any politician. It wasn't brought forward. It wasn't even whispered. Why? The science is all there. All the important documentation, all the important you know scientists and all that could could back you up and have a general sort of discussion about it but why did no politician care is there the hatred i'll tell you what another good example of this is even just parking in london there used to be um loads of like ground anchors if you will uh that you could you know pop, pop your bike in front of or behind or whatever and you know chain it up against the wheel yeah, I know it's not brilliant, but hey, it's as safe as safe can be. Better than those bars that they put in London that stand across and the chain goes around the bar that the feeds can just cut straight through. Um, no, they used to put these ground anchors at... <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, um, yeah, the ground anchors were probably the best we were ever going to get. You know, I don't think anything public service-wise is ever going to do the same just worthy result but they are they're very few and far between at the moment you know they um they're pretty much gone they keep taking them away they keep putting other bits of parking either or a cycle lane or a bus lane just anything to get rid of them again is that a, a general hatred of motorcycles do they feel or motorcyclists do they feel like people don't care if they get rid of the uh the parking because you know no one likes bikers so it does it keep everyone and well by everyone i don't mean everyone i mean you know the majority does it keep the majority happy or do they just do it because we are a minority and therefore we will never have the what's the right we will never have the the voice if you will to to do much about it bar complain which, you know, is sadly a tad true. I know bikers, we, we have our own way of, of dealing with things that we're unhappy about. You know, we, we've grouped together, we've done protests, we've done uh, road blockage, uh, road blockage um, we've pro uh, sorry, protest. We've like, formed groups 
that have been like anti-theft, anti-ULEZ. We've got protection groups that will fight for our rights. And so, you know, that, that's, that's what we do. But is it ever going to be enough? I don't think so. You know, especially with the way things are going at the moment. And the more laws, the more policies that go against us. You do have to just kind of feel like no one likes you because because of your life decision to to buy two wheels and uh well and one be a genius and two have a have a great time while doing it a third example would be a news report i saw on my local area bbc news where they had these villagers um villagers they had this village in the in the east angola um people who lived in the village were complaining about the noise that motorcyclists make when passing through the village that baffles me passing through like okay fine maybe some of them have gone a bit too quick maybe all of them near enough will have an aftermarket uh, exhaust and possibly even a full race system but it's a pass you know it's, they're not going to be in the village for for, for four hours, you know, like a major city. Like, if a biker came to Milton Keynes or London or Birmingham or Manchester, they're going to be visiting for, for a little while. They're not going to be there, um, you know, five minutes whilst they pass through, I don't know, the village of Ethenham or something silly like that. You know, it just, it's little things like that, to me, that really make you feel hated. For me, I have to admit, I tend, you know, not to not to think of it that way, you know, being hated. I like to look at more the beauty of being the biker, okay? So the uniqueness. Like I say, we only make up for what 1% of the UK of the UK road, of the UK vehicles whatever. Let's celebrate that. Let's be proud of that. Let's be happy. Let's love that because it's unique and it's interesting. It's, it's out there, you know, it, being a biker is everything to me, so, uh, it's, yeah, just let it be everything to all of us, because, well, if other people aren't willing to get on two wheels and have the time of their life, well, then that's their loss. But if they hate you for it, well, I don't know, I, I just try not to think about it, I block it out, but uh, this topic's just been bugging me for a few days, and then I suppose the conversation I had with my work colleagues just uh yeah just spiced it up you know and some other time I just had you know when just a, a question or an argument keeps getting uh presented to you just an odd couple of days really but yeah guys it'd be interesting to uh hear some of your thoughts on on the argument on the debate if you will you know do you feel like there do you feel you're hated as a motorcyclist by the general public, by other road users, by government policies, local councils, all of that. Yeah, you know, do, do you feel that way or or do you just think people don't care or or what? You know, or do you, or are you like me? Do you celebrate the, the beauty and the uniqueness of just being a biker? Fuck the world, fuck the system. That's what we've all been about all the times. God, that sounded so cringy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just just let me know. Let me know your uh, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment. I'd be very interested to to read some other opinions on this matter. All right, guys, I am off to Asda just to get some milk. Going to use my little sneaky way into the Asda front of the store. Just always like to use it. And then this pedestrian crossing. I know I'm not a pedestrian, but hey ho. Oh, am I? Am I not? Oh, no, that's a debate for a whole nother video. <laughs> Are bikers on pedestrian crossings? Pedestrians. No, because they shouldn't fucking be there. Anyway, I am here at Asda. I'm going to go get some milk because that is the key essential I've run out of. And without it, how am I going to have my granola in the morning, which then fuels me for the day? Right. Hope you all have a nice weekend, or are having a nice weekend if you watch it on that, or whenever I upload. And, uh, and yeah, thank you again as well, actually. Thank you for other people for leaving me more messages of support, um, and everything like that. That's been beautiful and amazing to read. And yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be back. So, with that said, 
thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time cheers